cleanup near campus today after students took to the streets of Providence to celebrate the Friars' victory. Thousands reveled in the victory, but the party resulted in a fire on the street and a police officer being sent to the hospital. NBC 10's Tony Gugliata has more from Providence. So this is what a national championship looks like. The area around Eaton Street and Pembroke Ave, no worse for the wear on Sunday after Friar fans took to the streets Saturday night. A chaotic scene on Pembroke Avenue Saturday night as Friar fans partied in the streets to celebrate the hockey team's improbable victory. It is an absolute great day to be a Friar, and I'm so proud to be a part of this campus. Providence police and fire personnel on scene, but drastically outnumbered. An incident report estimates more than 4,000 people in the streets. There was a couch on fire. That was quickly extinguished. And the report says a police officer was hit with a thrown vodka bottle. A cut over his eye so bad that he was taken to the hospital. No arrests were made, and on Sunday, students say those actions are not representative of the college. I think it just was somebody acting stupid, but we don't even, it might not have even been one of our own students. There are other colleges that live around here as well, but I'm sure whoever did it regrets it. Providence police say more than 60 officers responded to the scene, a spontaneous party that these students have never experienced before. I could not believe the outpour of everyone like coming from on campus and then off campus. I think I've seen some kind of partying like that from Providence College students before, but not to that level and not to those extremes. <laughs> An extremely rare reason to celebrate for these students. Police say the revelry finally calmed down after about three hours. The students glad that it didn't get any more out of control. Winning a national championship isn't something that happens every day, let alone any season of any sport that we have. So I think it was just everybody coming together, really getting to celebrate and show our school pride. Well, the students tell me that the 02908 Club, the company that owns the houses that they live in in the area, Mass texted them on Sunday morning telling them to help clean up the area. They also hired a company to come in and help clean up the area. That's why it doesn't look like much happened here come Sunday morning. In Providence, Tony Gugliotta, NBC 10 News.